Your most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Great to be with all of you here as we kickstart a Tuesday. We are rolling through August now. We're uh, into uh, the Elizabethtown Fair Week. Eric was there last night. We've got back to school weeks coming here this week or next, and we start in Mannheim uh, with uh, ah. I wanted to show you the temperatures. It was 70. I can tell you this. I looked before we came on the air because sometimes this happens. It was 70 with a dew point of 66, and that seems right to me because dew points haven't dropped everywhere. We'll show you the wider picture here in just a bit. 90 yesterday. We did get there, which is above our normal now. 84 is the normal. 99, the record today back in 1983. That is safe. Yesterday's rain, none, and we're starting to see that deficit grow now toward five and a half inches. We could use a little rain and we will get some here, I think, by the end of the week and just some. So some clouds around this morning again, pushing southward from this outer edge of this big ridge sitting across the center part of the country. We've called it the ring of fire because that's what typically happens around these big ridges in summertime when you're on the outer edge of it. Right now, though, no rain with this, just some clouds, and they will be clearing later today. Uh, as I mentioned, Mannheim was sitting at 70. This is, uh, again, pretty close to where everyone else is. Remember, the front and some of that cooler air not dropping far enough south yet for us to be impacted. Most of us are in the 70s. We've got 78 in Baltimore, 76 in Philly, so it's still warm, but we are starting to see the dew points drop a bit. But when we look at the last 24 hours, we're actually 5 to 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. So the cool, refreshing air, not around just yet, although we are starting to see the dew points drop north to south. 60 in Harrisburg, 59 in Lebanon, 56 in Allentown, Philly, starting to see that happen, and the rest of us will too. Chambersburg, York, Gettysburg, Hagerstown, still all sitting in the mid to upper 60s, but it is breezy. Winds from the north, and we mentioned that last night. As this uh, push of cooler air comes in, we would see a bit of a breeze, and I think that breeze will be around today. So when we look at the map here, it's pretty obvious where the ridge is. Parked right over the central part of the country. We also have got this ring of fire where convection showers and storms fire up around the circle. I know it looks like a weird pattern, but believe me, it's something we learn in meteorology classes, and this is just the way it develops, and it's textbook. We can also see something in the tropics here across the Gulf brewing. We'll get into that in our next half hour. It's going to be cool and breezy today. We're getting our flow from the north. High pressure will keep us dry the next couple of days, but we will tap into some of this ring of fire shower activity and convection as we move into the end of the week, but it still continues to be hot. Any pink colors you see on the map here, triple digit heat from Topeka down into Oklahoma City, parts of Texas. 98 Memphis and Atlanta today, but again, we're on the outer edge of the ridge now, so we're kind of on the cooler side of it. Highs here only near 80 today, so we are going to clear out. We do expect a lot of sunshine here on this Tuesday. Uh, we will get some clouds, though, for the second half of Wednesday, so tomorrow we flip it. We start out sunny and we turn cloudy. There may be a couple of showers Wednesday night and Thursday often on showers and maybe a rumble of thunder as we again tap into that ring of fire convection that will last into Friday. And unfortunately, it does look like Saturday now. A little bit of a breeze today. Winds at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, and we can see here as we push into tomorrow, the winds calm down a bit. So a quick check of the extended. We'll show you the temperatures here and uh, again, nothing significant. We really don't see any heat. I've lowered Friday's temperature now to 86. The normal is 84. We are going to be below that the next several days and look at the dew point forecast. It does get humid again by the end of the week, uh, but I actually think despite what the model says by Sunday, we start to lose the humidity again into next week. So today comfortable 80 degrees, some morning clouds with afternoon sunshine. It will be breezy comfortable tonight. We dip down into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. I think tomorrow looks nice. We'll get some clouds later in the day, maybe a couple of showers overnight. Humid to end the week with some scattered showers and storms Thursday, Friday, and perhaps uh, that could linger into Saturday now, but look at Sunday and Monday. Again, we're not seeing that heat that has affected so many across the country. Not here. I'm okay with that. Me too. <laughs> Been pretty comfortable. It has. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Brett. We'll be right back.